Election day was a disastrous one if you were trying to vote. Long lines everywhere. And the Board of Elections Executive Director, Michael Ryan, had a bunch of excuses when he appeared before the city council in late November. Heavy voter turnout, improperly trained poll workers, and a new ballot that confused voters and jammed machines. The increase in ballot jams created a ripple effect in poll sites. But now Ryan has more explaining to do about his relationship with election systems and software, which provides machines for the city. He serves on an advisory board there, and they paid for trips around the country for him. But reports say he failed to properly log some of those trips with the Conflict of Interest Board. The mayor says he's surprised by it. It should be looked at very carefully because it's a very sensitive area. And one that there's been a whole lot of coverage in over the years of the sensitivities there. So I think that has to be looked at very, very carefully. But other city officials say enough's enough. Controller Scott Stringer wants Ryan out, along with City Council Speaker Corey Johnson. I lost my confidence. I'm actually really angry that he didn't disclose this. He was talking about this company, he was talking about these machines, and he did not disclose this. That is wrong. The Board of Elections approved Ryan's position because he was not on the company's board of directors, but on an informal, unpaid advisory board, so no waiver is required. But Susan Lerner of the watchdog group Common Cause New York says, at the very least, the optics here are awful. It raises questions as to who he's working for and whether he's really putting the interests of the voters first. Now, we reached out to the Conflict of Interest Board, and they say they cannot by law address the specific case. No response from election systems and software to our request for comment. Maurice and Christine. Okay, Dick, thank you.